Oh. On hold with Enterprise. That's cool. That means there's more there. That was sick. Oh, seven nine extra heavy halo, stout hooks, big weights, and insane temperatures. Take the, exit. the only thing I really f***ed up on is forgetting to stop and get bobber stops. We can bring the top of the braid back through the weight, maybe. Peg your weight with just the line. Looks pegged to me. Let's start with the classic black and blue. Net bait dagger, but it's very streamlined. So for punching specifically down here in this Florida grass, it gets the job done. I'm excited to try this particular setup in the grass this afternoon. I'm not too familiar with Cast King, but we had a good conversation with them at the Classic and they gave us some of these reels that I'm pretty interested about because there's no drag, right? So for something like this, that makes a lot of sense. I got it on a Halo KSI Elite. 7.9 extra heavy, which is like a swim bait rod, so Shouldn't have too much of an issue It is so hot too. Usually the saving grace for Florida is that by this time of day in the summer we get the afternoon showers But for some reason these few days that I'm home, of course No rain to be found this afternoon. So that Sun is just allowed to do everything it wants to do Just put me in pain at least we got a little bit of a breeze coming in now. That's definitely welcome. My plan is to punch for now. And then once we get that late day evening deal going, I'm gonna break out the frog. This water is actually pretty clear, so an immediate on the fly adjustment I'm gonna make without even really fishing or getting a bite as I'm switching to a tilapia magic color. Punching is not for the faint of heart. You're usually doing it in some rather extreme conditions. You gotta pull a lot of stuff off your bait and you gotta make a lot of flips. But it is a very fun and rewarding bite when it goes down. That'll kick things off. <sighs> Not a giant by any means. Look at how he got it, net bait dagger. Perfect. He's skinny. Look at that. You needed that to be real. Looks like that color switch was a good call. I made a decent amount of flips with that black and blue and didn't get bit. And I haven't been throwing this one very long. So I just got this GoPro 11. I guess it still has the problem where it overheats, you know, 95 degree, 100 degree heat. I can't really blame it. But there you go. Like a minute after it overheated, second super skinny punching fish of the afternoon. There's another thing about punching that I was just explaining to myself because I had to turn the camera off. Caught him in the same area. You know, obviously you find a mat, get a bite, flip around a little more in that same region. Especially down here in Florida, there's probably gonna be another. That's what a lot of the good punching guys will tell you when they do it this time of year or the winter is they'll be flipping, flipping, flipping for three, four hours, finally come across a mat that has them and then boom, 30 pounds. Oh my god. Oh yeah. He's still on there. That lock drag, man. Pretty good for a big one. Let's see. This is the moment of truth. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm telling you that's a good punching bait. There's number three, and that's definitely more like the right one. So in the last probably half hour or so, I've only gotten one other punching bite, and the thing about the one I landed and that last bite, they both kind of hit me as it was falling. 
So I'm assuming that they're a little bit higher in the water column. A little scum frog, trophy series popping frog will take care of that. Oh yeah, biggin'. Right out there in the open. <laughs> Wanna see him? Pretty good one, right? Yes, that's a good one. Yeah, you can touch him if you want. You want bite? So Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a bass? Yeah, it's a bass. That's so cool. Yeah. You... I want to be a fish when I grow up. Um, yeah, I'm on YouTube. This is on YouTube. I think I saw you before. <laughs> really? What did you see me doing? Um, you were catching some fish before. Yeah, that's me. It's nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you You'll too. see this on YouTube later. Like I said, follow Uncle Larry Outdoors. Check us out, okay? okay. Have a good one. Oh my God, huge fish under me. Oh my God, did you see that? Did you see that eat? That was one of the best frog eats I have ever seen in my life. Oh, that was one of the coolest things ever. Oh my God. Look at where he's got that trophy series popping frog. Fifth good one of the day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Got him. Big one. Doesn't really matter when you're fishing a frog though. They're all good. Little guy, smallest fish of the day. That was fun though. Look at this. Look at look at how they're getting it. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, I got no cast left in me. All right, that's gonna do it. I am pretty fucked up. I need food extremely badly because all I've eaten today is an iced coffee. I need water, probably even more than I need food. Can't really walk at this point. You know, the walking on walking in the vans all day has officially taken its toll. It's still at almost seven o'clock, about 95 degrees out. But I would say in the midst of all that, we got exactly what we came for today. And I just want to remind everyone that it was a hundred degrees out today. Everything in my mind and body wanted me to stay in the air conditioning but everything in my soul told me to come out here and I'm pretty happy that I did so whenever you're faced with that inner conflict just go trust me hey we never say this ever but if you enjoyed this one why don't you leave a like maybe a comment we'll get back to you when we can and subscribe if you haven't already even turn the notifications on, you know, all the YouTube stuff. Uncle Larry Outdoors isn't going anywhere. We genuinely love each and every one of you that leaves a like or a comment or just watches the video in general and gets something out of it, uses it as motivation to get out themselves. That's why we're here. So I appreciate you guys. We'll see you soon. Gonna be on the road, headed to Alabama next. Meet up with Sarah and her friends, finally visit the Slab Lab, reconnect with Johnny in Alabama, and then we got iCast back here in Orlando. Busy schedule for the boys. We're going to keep at it. 
see you guys soon.